All right, I'm going to show you how you can use an SVG favicon to support dark mode on your website. And before we get started, as always, there's a text version of this video on my website up and posted. I'll have the link in the description if you want to read instead of watch. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start in Figma to export our SVG. So right here I have just some text in a square and I'm going to I've turned off the background. So here's the background. It's off. So I have a transparent background. I have a square and I'm going to export that as an SVG. I'll throw that into my downloads. Good to go. Next, I'm going to import that SVG into my assets folder. Uh, so for me, it's going to live right here in Favicon SVG. This is the current one, but we're just going to replace it for the purposes of the video. So drop that. We're going to throw that into my folder. So in my case, I am using um, Statomic as a static generated website. In your case, you could be using anything. You just need to make sure that your favicon is accessible to your web server as a normal favicon is. So in my case, I'm going to rename it to favicon.svg. And you'll notice if we scroll far to the right, we have fill colors that came from Figma. So this dark color and this pink color. So in my case, I actually want to replace those because our favicon, for me, I'm going to make monotone as just a single color. So when we're on light mode, it'll be a dark favicon. And when we're in dark mode, it'll be a light favicon. So I'm going to just drop the fill colors on each of the paths. Path one, path two, drop the pink. OK, and now we have a favicon that has essentially no color, default color. So the next step, what we want to do is add color to the favicon, depending on the user's operating system setting. So a lot of people don't know that you can actually embed style tags directly into an SVG tag. And luckily for us, uh, browsers actually support this. So if I can do can I use .com, the first thing we're going to check is uh, link SVGs. And we see that uh, IE11, you know, don't care too old. Uh, Edge supports it, Firefox, Chrome, Safari is starting to support it. Opera supports it, iOS Safari kind of supports it. And then the Android browsers are kind of hit and miss. So what I recommend doing is when you go to set up your favicon, um, add a fallback PNG, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, the second thing we want to test on can I use is style SVG. I don't know what we type in here. SVG element style. Perfect. So it looks like all browsers support styles inside SVGs, which is perfect. We need to use that. So coming back to the SVG, let's just indent this. So the first thing we want to do is just color the paths. So we're going to fill them with our dark color, which is 273240. It's our dark blue color. So by default, they'll get that color. And then what we're going to do is add a media query that says if they prefer color scheme of dark. So they're on dark mode, then we're going to fill with white. Uh, sorry, we're going to fill paths with white. Fill white. So what this says is by default, fill with this dark blue. If they are on prefers color scheme dark, aka dark mode, we're going to fill with white instead. So we'll save that. And then we'll head over to our head.php. And what we're looking to do is add this SVG icon link tag. So it looks like a normal favicon link. The only exception is we need to add sizes any to say that this SVG is a, a vector file and it can scale. And then type instead of image PNG, we have an image slash SVG plus XML. And that'll just tell the browser that we're loading an SVG image. All right, so we have, we're linking to our SVG file. We have the SVG ready to go. We can now hit up our test website. So owenconti.com.test. We can see that we're on light mode right now because Chrome is giving me light stuff. We can just swap that over to be dark mode. Hit refresh. And now we have a white favicon. And that's, it's really that simple. I mean, the hardest part of this is coming up with your design for your favicon, but hopefully you can have someone else take care of that if you're not a designer. Otherwise, it's very simple to get started and to set up dark mode SVGs with HTML. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti. And as always, there's a text version of this video on my website, link in the description below. Thanks for watching.